Hello, hello. How is everybody tonight? Welcome, welcome. All right, so tonight I'm going to work with our uh, Cottontail Farms transfer. I already used the rabbit, but here's the whole transfer. If you can see it, I know everything's backwards tonight. Sorry. And I'm going to use the same tray that I've had that I've been using. So I had, um, I used this for Christmas. I had the elf on here and then I, you can see then I ended up using it for Valentine's day. So I am going to spray some water so I can clean this up and I'm going to switch it out for Easter. All right. I'm gonna use a board eraser. I have a little bit bucket of water right here. Just kind of letting, waiting for the water to kind of um, soften up the paste. Oh, here we go. Okay. I'm not sure if you've seen me uh, work with this before, but if you have, I don't think this was really meant to, um, Um, like redo, like to use over and over. So some of our um, surfaces, you're able to, they're reusable. So our paste that we have is semi-permanent and you're able to, it does dry hard. Oh, I should probably click show it before it dries. Ah! Even if this is wet, oh no, it's coming off. This was pretty hard and, stay, and it stayed on, but that's one thing about our paste is that they are um, semi-permanent and I am going, so you can, um, you know, make, we have surfaces that are meant for, um, you put your design on it and then you um, can erase it. So I'm using the board eraser. You don't have to use a board eraser and all you need is water. So you can switch it out. So you can switch it out for like holidays, for um, what I just did, the Christmas, Valentine's Day, now into Easter, or if you wanna switch it out for the seasons. You don't have to keep, you know, the same design and then make all these pictures and you have nowhere to go on your walls or whatever you tend to make. But so what I was starting to say is I don't think these trays were meant to be for um, for that to be reusable and erasable because I did notice, I don't think you can see it, that there is some ghosting going on here. But again, for me, for my house, you know, for my decor, I don't care, but I don't, can you even see your, oh there, if I put the glare, see how if it's a glare like that? But you really have to look for it. I mean, I'm using, this is a bright, bright light and I'm trying to find it in the glare. Um, for me to keep around my house and then to have it for like the various holidays, it doesn't, you know, that doesn't really bother me too much. But this is our reclaimed uh, metal tray. Just trying to see. Okay. All right. And let me just clean this board eraser up a little bit more. Set it over there. And did I grab? Yeah, I grab towels. Let me just dry my hands off. How's everybody doing today? I'm like in a shadow with my hat on. Can you see me better? Uh, all right. All right, my eyes are covered, I guess. Okay, so I am just going to lay this out here. So we do have our um, transfer shears and our 
transfers, so like this one in particular, you can see the cut lines. I'm going to cut along these lines. And I don't think I'm going to use everything on this transfer. I know I'm going to use the Cottontail Farms. Of course, I'm using the Bunny. Actually, I think I'm going to use everything except for the established 2020. And what's neat, like, so with our transfers, um, a lot of them, they have like a lot of detail. And if you see, this is the carrot and it's numbered one and then two because you want to do this side first and then this one so you can get like, you know, the detail and the shadow effects. Um, but actually, I'm just going to use... I don't think I'm gonna do the shadow effects. I'm not sure. I opened up so much paint, I sent up so much of my paste over there. Um, I'm just kind of looking at everything. And they're, of course they're open. You're not, I shouldn't be keeping the paste open because they dry so fast. All right, let's just cut that guy. And do I have a pen handy? Yes. I always say to mark the backs, it just keeps everything more organized and it's a lot easier when you're cleaning up, especially now when you're starting to get like, you know, all these little pieces. Or if I tend to work with like um, more than one transfer at a time, it just keeps it a lot organized. So our transfers are reusable. They do come on this backing sheet. The side that this um, transfer is sitting on is the shiny side. And then it's not as shiny on the back side. So you don't have to really label it, but I do. I like to. Just kind of write what it is. This is to get in the habit. All right, so we'll do carrot one. Farms. Making sure they spell cottontail the right way, like a real cottontail. <laughs> I wasn't sure if they kind of it's messing with the words. All right, and then the rabbit. So I relabeled the rabbit. Okay. All right. So. Rabbit. I'm going to paint my rabbit gray. Looks pretty centered. So I'm just going to, so our um, transfers have a sticky backing. Actually, let me show you something. So I have used this. When they're brand new, brand new, they can be really sticky and you want to fuzz your transfers. Um, you can see I put it on, I took it off. This one actually would have been fine, but I just want to kind of demonstrate to you about fuzzing. And, you know, with this being slick, it could have actually stuck. Well, we'll see these other ones. It could have actually stuck a little bit um, more on here. But like I said, I've used this. I actually made a couple things with this rabbit so far. So the transfer is not that brand new. Okay. Find squeegee. So we have this is our small squeegee, our mini squeegees, and then what I do is I cut the mini squeegee in half for detail. But the rabbit is pretty big. I'm just going to use one color, so I'm going to use the small squeegee, and I'm using our storm. So just want to mix it up a little bit. You want to have like a sour cream yogurt type consistency. It's kind of on the thick side. I could actually probably add a little bit of water, but it's fine. I'm just gonna use it like that. I think 
Whoa, I was in the middle of what? So we wanna put that on the transfer. I'm gonna lay it flat. Now make sure the air bubbles are out. Only really have to make sure the area where the actual design is. So I don't have to make sure like the corner is laying flat or anything. Just where the design is. And I'm just gonna squeegee this on. I probably should add water. I can tell now it's pretty dry. It should move a little bit easier on here, but it's still working. Still working. Okay. Just wanna make sure the whole design is covered. So it is a little dry. I'm not always like scraping it like that when it's more of the consistency that I had mentioned. All right, and then you just wanna take the extra off. A little goes a long way. So whatever you don't use, you just put back in your um, container and you can reuse it. Let's see. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I see an air bubble. See how this turned out. Okay. Oh, it was over here. Kind of want to work fast. It's already drying. You want to lift this up before it. Oh no, it's fine. Okay. Before it dries too much, because if it dries and then you lift this up, um, it'll take the paste along with it. You can see. You can see all the detail in the rabbit, how cute he is, isn't he cute? And I just have a bucket of water right next to me, so I'm putting the transfer upside down. Um, just gonna let it sit there in the water for now, and then I'll go back and I'll wash it. And then you wanna let it dry, and once it's dry, you put it back on its backer, and then you can use it again. All right, so we're gonna use, let's see, Cottontail Farms. Okay, so this is brand new. I haven't used the Cottontail Farms yet. I am gonna, um, Fuzz this. Because when you're taking off your transfer, you don't really want to pull on it too hard. Um, because this, this is like a material, it will stretch. And the, um, this, what appears to be the clear part is actually like a silk screen mesh like material. So when I say, oh, I'm putting the paste over the whole design, like I might say the, the see through part. It's actually um, a mini screen material. So, all right. Put him up here. Yeah. Maybe move it over a little. I don't know. Maybe it's okay. Good enough, good enough. All right, again, I'm gonna lay it flat. Make sure the air bubbles are out. And I'm going to use our uh, eucalyptus. This guy needs to be stirred. I think this one's pretty brand new. So I'm gonna add some water in here. And then I'm using our multi-tool to stir it. Yeah, it's a little dry. Here. So when the, this is, seems like it's almost like it's brand new. Um, when you do get your paste and it's brand new, it will come out, you will have to stir it. And you pretty much, you need to stir it to make it come back to life. So see how this is? This is not the consistency you want, but I'm gonna stir it and then show you the consistency that you want. So, so yeah, if you get a brand new container, you might see some separation um, or like what I just showed you, it was kind of um, hard. So yeah, I'm adding more water in here. You hear my doggy barking in the background? All right. 
So I could go ahead and just stir this whole thing up and get the whole jar out of the way it should be, but you know, I'm only using a very small amount, so I'll just kind of mix up part of it. All right, I don't know if my dog's gonna stop barking. I'm home alone. Mario is out of town for work. I do not know what she's barking at. Okay. All right, so I'll use a small size squeegee again. So in our living room, so I'm in um, like our extra bedroom, my studio, we have, um, she's out in the living room, but our couch is up against the window. And I kind of purposely put it there. We used to have our couch situated differently, but I put it there so she can look out. So I think she's looking out the window and she must see something. All right. So I'm kind of working fast. You want to lift this up. Try not to pull from the corners. Because like I said, you don't want to stretch your transfer. So either pull from the side like I'm doing or come from like the top and pull it down. So not the corner. Okay. And see how, see, it, this is fine. There's nothing, I didn't ruin this transfer. Everything's okay with it. But um, see how it's curling up like that? If um, if it was really sticky and I didn't if I didn't um, fuzz it, then it really like well I'm still curling up. So that's why you want to fuzz it. So you don't really want that curl up thing. It's not like it's ruining it. I just know like when I first started working with transfers like two years ago or when I signed up, you know, when I started selling Chop Couture. Um, I didn't take any care of my transfers at all, and I let them all just like roll up all this guy's doing right now, but it's fine. Okay. Cottontail Farms. See, just that alone is pretty, right? This color, like the, I love that eucalyptus color. But I'm gonna have some fun. I'm gonna add more detail. Why not, right? Okay, I'm gonna take the carrot. And I'm gonna really try to fuzz this guy. So I wonder if the cat was outside. That's what, so my dog's name is Coco and that's what she tends to um, bark at. I mean, she'll bark, you know, if someone's there or if there's another dog. Um, you know, someone's walking their dog, but just for how long she was barking, I have a feeling she was like, um, barking at a cat. Across the street, there's a cat that's always around. Okay. So let me add this. So I'm gonna add the carrot on either side. Actually, so I am going to use just a very small amount. I'm just going to grab my uh, like a mini squeegee. I need two because I'm going to do orange and I'm going to do green. Let's see. So I've been debating. I think I'm just going to go with. I have orange, like orange peel, like that's color. But I think I'm gonna go with our guava. I was using this color a lot for, um, when I was doing pumpkins. I really liked using the uh, eucalyptus with the guava. So if I put it up to the orange, it doesn't look like orange at all. But if I'm only looking at it 
without comparing, I'm like looking over at my orange peel right now because it's definitely um, not orange. <laughs> All right. So again, I'm only mixing up part of it. But you know what, it's really hard to mess up with our transfers and if this doesn't come out right or if it just looks funny, I can always, you saw how easy it was to clean it up with some water. Um, let me just make sure, cause I'm gonna have to, okay. I'm gonna use this twice without cleaning it. So for me to use, you know, I don't want it to, um, I don't want the paste to dry out and then try to do a second carrot. So I just want to get the green and the, the colors ready. Okay. I'm gonna even out the paste. Put an extra back in the jar and take the green. So this is like a lot of green. Barely need any of that amount. Like, look at that. And I'm going to even this out. Okay. You don't want your paste too thick, because then it's going to, um, It'll take longer to dry. It might dry weird if it's way too thick. Okay, let me quick do this here. I think that's even. Like I always say, it's so hard for me to eyeball things. It looks like it's okay. All right. I'm just gonna lay it flat, grab the guava. Oh no. Okay, so like I mentioned earlier, you can layer this um, carrot and to give it like some, you know, definition or shadow effect going on. Um, and the way it's easy to line up our transfers because some of them you can even there's some that you might use three different transfers for layering is we have this um, there's markers on the transfer and then you want to put the paste over the marker so then we go to line up the next one it's easy to put it on so I said oh no can you see these crosshairs like right so when I, if I was to use the other um, carrot, you can line it up. There's one. Can you see these two? Anyway, I said oops because I went over that, so I got a little bit on the tray, but no big deal. It's easy to take off. And actually, if I do it fast enough, there, it's gone. It's gone. Okay. So far, so cute. Again, I think it's cute like this, but I am going to add some more detail. All right, I'm going to put, I'm gonna use these flowers. And look how fast that was. I mean, I know it's done already. And how long have I been doing this? I think like if I wasn't talking and I just like went and quick did it, it doesn't take long at all. And of course, the more detail I put in, the longer it's gonna take. So, you know, if I just left it like that, what did it take me? I've been on here like 20 minutes maybe, but again, I wasn't, didn't take me 20 minutes to do that, but I've been on the video for like 20 minutes so far. All right, so again, I'm just making sure that this is fuzzed enough and hold on. I'm gonna put, what do you think? I'm gonna push it angle it. 
something like that or I lay it flat on the I just kind of have it laying down what do you think And just keep it straight down. Okay. All right, just laying these flat. I'm gonna do it pretty much at the same time. I'm going to use the bigger flower. I'm gonna make this purple. And then I think I'm just gonna use yellow. All right. Again, you don't. I don't really need a whole lot of paste. This is a lot. I'm not doing the, the flower perfect. I'm not doing the flower that perfect either. So a trick, I don't really need to do it now, but I'll just quick show you. Um, so it does dry fast and you wanna lift this up. You wanna take your transfer off before it dries. But the trick is, cause I'm still gonna finish off the flowers. Is you pick it up and just kind of let it set back down. It's not gonna go all the way back down. So now I can keep working with the transfer. But when I lift that up like this, I wanna make sure that this is laying flat down again. Okay. Debating. I should do, maybe I, I was gonna do it all yellow just to make it easy, but maybe I will do yellow and then maybe add green for the leaves. Okay, let's just do this. Hmm. Should I do all yellow? Okay, here I go. I think I'm doing all yellow. Just try to be careful too that I don't grab onto that purple. Smear it in there. It'd be okay. It'd be okay if I did, because it's like, you know, just to blend it in. And if I had some purple where the yellow is, not a big deal. Okay. Need a little bit more. off hmm okay it looks weird I don't know if I like it oh and that fell okay so I don't know if I like how the flowers turned out now this is what it looks like I don't know Take it off. Should I make them green like Cottontail Farms? Yeah, I don't like it. All right, let me take off these flowers because I don't like how that looks. Um, I could use my board eraser again, or I'm just gonna use this paper towel. It's gonna be so easy to take off, especially because this isn't dry all the way. Maybe I'll just leave it blank. Um, otherwise, what I would do is 
take, um, what do you call it? Kind of do like blend the colors in a little bit more. So just trying to do the one all purple and yellow, just kind of do a little bit of purple and yellow. But I'm not going to add the flowers. I'm just going to keep it off. And another thing I thought about doing, I'm not going to do it, but you could actually, oh, I don't have the flowers to show you. You can make like a little, um, take the flowers right here and make like a little, um, I don't know, flower necklace around the rabbit. Okay. There you go. Well, I'm just going to leave it like this. And I think it turned out really cute. What do you think? All right, if you have any questions, um, please comment below. And, um, oops. Please comment below if you have any questions. If you have any questions about Chocotour itself. And um, I also have a VIP group. So if you wanna be part of the VIP, my VIP group, comment below VIP and I'll add you to my VIP group. All right, everybody have a good night.